Welcome back. The White House has issued a warning about a deadly mix of street drugs. Officials say fentanyl mixed with the veterinary tranquilizer xylazine is fueling overdose deaths across the country. The Office of National Drug Control Policy declared it an emerging threat, clearing the way for more federal efforts to stop the spread. This is the first time the U.S. has declared a drug is such a threat. They say xylazine is dangerous because it slows breathing and heart rate and lengthens overdoses. Federal data shows it was linked to more than 3,000 thousand overdose deaths in 2021. This all comes as the White House is taking new steps to crack down on illegal drug trafficking, specifically fentanyl. Serena Marshall has more. As fentanyl seizures continue to break records along the southern border, in Washington, the Biden administration is stepping up its plans to cripple the illicit supply chain. We're going after the criminal facilitators and enablers and the targeting of key vulnerabilities in the illicit fentanyl supply chain to maximize our impact across the drug producer and trafficker spectrum of capabilities. That means cutting off drug traffickers from access to U.S. financial markets through increased sanctions and targeting the drug's supply chain. We know that there are pill presses, dye molds, and these machines that encapsulate and the spare parts that are transforming powder fentanyl into pills. It's really important to make sure that we're looking into that carefully, as well as fentanyl producers' ability to move raw materials, the machinery, as well as the finished fentanyl product. In 2021, synthetic opioids like fentanyl led to more than 70,000 American deaths. According to the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the U.S. drug supply comes from just two cartels and is, quote, being mass produced at secret factories in Mexico with chemicals sourced largely from China. A lot of these synthetic drugs, though, come from China. What role are they specifically going to be playing in helping with this crackdown internally as a nation? They're very strict, but a lot of those come over into the U.S. We've asked them very clearly the things that they can do, for instance, create a know your customer protocols for the chemicals that are being shipped, have proper labeling that are agreed upon by the world community shipping standards, and then know what chemicals are going out and why. But did China and, and, respond to those four asks? That's specifically what I was wondering. Well, we're going to continue to um, provide those asks to the PRC and await that response. While they await China's engagement in what the White House has called a global threat, the administration says they're building a global coalition, including Australia, India, New Zealand, and Singapore, to tackle the drug, as well as continuing to put pressure on Mexico. The move comes as some GOP lawmakers are calling for military action to take down drug cartels. Give the military the, organi the authority to go after these organizations wherever they exist. Not to invade Mexico, not to shoot Mexican airplanes down, but to destroy drug labs that are poisoning Americans. The White House and the Department of Defense have resisted the idea of deploying troops to Mexico, arguing the issue is best handled by law enforcement and in cooperation with Mexico's government. We ask the Mexican government to make sure that they're doing everything in their power to go after the illicit production as well as the supply chain of fentanyl because at the end of the day, look, uh, we must work together. Serena Marshall, Scripps News, the White House.